Hi, what you're about to see is a flight test of the Stratix AHARS. The system I'm using is the Stratix 1.4 R5 software. The AHARS, which is an MPU 9250, which costs about $15. A GPS a VK162 type costs about $10. So if you're already using the Stratix to get traffic and weather information in your airplane, adding the Altitude Heading Reference System for $25 makes a lot of sense. Let's, uh, let's go fly. Now please excuse the fact that I'm hand-holding the camera as we're uh, doing this flight. So uh, it's definitely going to be a little bouncy. But you can see the Dynan um, EFIS on the left. That's our gold standard. And the... Uh, Stratix AHARS is on the right, so that's what we're going to be testing. So we're going to do some maneuvers now. So what I'm looking for here in this right-hand turn is, does the Stratix AHARS um, continue to read a right-hand turn stably, just like the uh, EFIS, the Dynan EFIS does? I found out that the GPS lock is absolutely critical to this function. Well, that did pretty good. Let's try some fast rate turns, moving back and forth and see if they both uh, keep up with each other. Well, that was pretty good, but I didn't notice a couple glitches there, where it, and it looks like the AHARS is lagging the Dynan a little bit. Let's try some pitch changes. Let's check out the G-meter in the uh, Stratix AHARS. I didn't manage to keep the camera on the Dynan G readings very well, but uh, basically it, they compared extremely well.
whoa, what the heck just happened? Well, actually, we did a, a left aileron roll, and uh, the AR has tried to keep up, but uh, it wasn't quite keeping up with the Dynan uh, in the full aerobatic maneuver. So my conclusion from this flight test is that the uh, Stratix AHARS for $25 add-on to the uh, Stratus ADS-B in receiver is uh, really a great addition. Um, I wouldn't trust the AHARS as a primary instrument, but I, if, uh, if my Dynan goes out and I really need it, I would be darn glad to have the, uh, the Stratix AHARS with me. G meter was very accurate, uh, but I did notice uh, a couple of times I lost GPS lock on my Samsung S4 phone. Um, I scrolled down to the GPS channels <clears throat> when I had that GPS loss, and uh, their channels I had 10 channels receiving satellites. So I think what was happening was the Samsung was uh, had too many apps running, and uh, when I closed the uh, uh, a VAIR app that I was running on this Samsung so that I was only running the uh, Stratus app uh, then the GPS lock stopped and uh, it was solid after that so um, I would say if you're gonna run the AHARS on a phone like the S4 which is really no slouch um, I would definitely consider uh, killing all your other apps so uh, you make your own conclusions from this video, but uh, I kind of uh, I like having the backup of the the uh, Stratix Ahars. Thanks. See you later.